Greetings, this is Jedi Master J, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Even a seemingly simple physical puzzle can become a true classic if properly implemented. E.g., the Angry Bird series appeared only about four years ago and has become a symbol of mobile games in general. You'd have to be a lazy, deaf, blind, and mute person living in a remote Siberian taiga to have not heard about the game Angry Birds. But despite its tremendous success, the Rovio Game Company is not resting on its laurels and continues to present us with more and more new stories about the adventures of those always angry birds. Today we are going to share with you the second part of the Angry Birds Star Wars saga that was a sensation a year ago. Ah yes, the force is strong with this one. This time, the epic confrontation of pigs and birds has moved to our favorite galaxy a long time ago and far, far away. By the long-standing tradition initiated by old Lucas himself in the first part, we can see the story based on the good old original trilogy of Star Wars, and the second part shows, respectively, the events from the prequel trilogy. In terms of gameplay, Star Wars 2 is still the same good old Angry Birds, but with a whole bunch of characters from the original story, each with their unique abilities. E.g., a Jedi Obi-Wan can move objects with the Force. Qui-Gon destroys obstacles on his way with his lightsaber. Though Master Yoda, turning into an all-slashing whirling dervish, will probably be the most interesting. So far, the game has only two chapters, Naboo and Tatooine, but the developers promise to add new locations from the first episodes. As in the previous part, there is also a bonus chapter besides the main plot tasks present in the game that takes place in the underwater city, home of the Gungans and Jar Jar Binks. Misa gonna die? Moreover, the game has quite a number of new interesting innovations. E.g., you will have an opportunity to choose different sides following the canons of the Star Wars games. In other words, you will be able to control pigs, which represent the bad guys from the film. A new function of the game is the possibility to add extra characters during the game. This is realized through the help of special collectible figures of the story's heroes. Unless you're a real die-hard collector, you'll probably want to pass on the souvenir collecting, but I do like the idea. In summary, I couldn't find any minuses to the game. Neither did I with any of the previous parts. Rovio makes us happy every time with each new interesting and qualitative episode of the Angry Birds series. Despite the fact that the game is based on the universe of Star Wars, this game will surely be enjoyed by a very wide range of players, and it will surely be another pleasant installment for fans of the series. That's all for today. If you liked it, and I know you already do, search your feelings, you know it to be true, then download it, put like, subscribe to the channel, and join the group. This was Jay with reviews from Mob.org. May the Force be with you.